Today, I'm going to share with you a brand new Apple Store interview question and how to answer it. It is a tough one, it is stumping candidates, but by watching this video to the end today, you will not be one of those candidates. You will be prepared to absolutely nail this interview question and increase the likelihood that you get moved on and get an offer. Let's go. Now this video came for me from a subscriber who watched one of my videos and said, hey Ben, your video was very helpful, but I got this question and you did not prepare me for it because it wasn't in any of your videos. Whenever that happens, I make a video on it. And that question is, how do you define success in a current or previous role? And how did you know that you were successful? Now, this is a really powerful and interesting uh, interview question. When I first heard this, it made me think for a bit and go, hmm, well, that is a good one. And what I like about it is they're doing several things. So in one question, um, kind of a layered interview question, they're getting a bunch of information. It allows them to gauge your mindset, right? What is your mindset on learning and achieving success? Um, what success means to you? Like, how do you define that? What does it actually mean to you? And finally, what feedback do you take in um, to, you know, determine you've achieved success and like make that determination like all in one. So they get a lot of information from one interview question and it's not a particularly easy interview question to ask, but that is why they ask it. Now I'm gonna go through four different things that you need to do to successfully answer this interview question and at the very end, I'm going to answer it um, using the example from my past when I worked uh, in retail. And this should be able to allow you to model your answer closely to what I did, but making it your own. Let's go. Now, first things first, you need to pick a role that you had success in, right? So pick a role previously, one you're currently working or one that you had in the past in which you achieve success. Now, how do you, how do you know if you achieve success? Well, first and foremost, if you can find anything where um, like a job where you won an award or recognition or you were promoted, that would be great. Now, if you don't have one of those, look for another spot in your, in your history, in your career in which you feel like you really did well. You achieved a certain amount of competency and skill that allowed you to excel in the role and use that as your example, that's step one. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna give them a story, right? Because they're asking a complex question with a lot of steps. So start by talking about which job you started, which steps did you take to achieve improvement, and then finally, what was the moment in which you knew you achieved success? After that, you've gotta share with them, like clearly state, um, what success meant in that role and what was the moment in which you defined success? Like how was it defined and when did you know you achieved it? Now as a bonus here, I think it is a great step to let them know that even though you achieved what you consider to be success in the role, you continued to take steps to get better and or you were intentional about helping lift others up around you. Apple um, Retail is a store and it's a team environment and there are a lot of people. And if one person is getting better in a perfect world, they'd probably like others to help uh, lift up those around them. So in your story, if you can kind of conclude with that, it is going to be a really powerful addition to answering this question. Now, what I wanna do now is I'm gonna actually go into an example of how I would tell this. I worked a few jobs uh, in retail when I was a, a bit younger before I got into recruitment. Um, specifically, I'm going to use uh, an example from when I worked at GNC, the supplement store. A good example for this for me is when I worked at GNC. So GNC was a store that I thought was really cool because I was getting into athletics, but I didn't know a lot about supplementation. I got hired and immediately I knew I was a little bit out of my league because everybody was so much more informed than me. Um, they would talk to customers, they would have the, all the answers, and when I would work with customers, I would frequently need to go and ask a coworker uh, when I didn't have the information. So what I did was I spent a lot of time studying. You know, on my own time I did that, when there was downtime in the store, we had literature that I could read that would keep, um, you know, keep me informed and help me learn. And over a period of the first couple of months, something happened. I ended up getting more confident, I ended up having more answers, and I believe I achieved success because it got to the point where not only did I have answers, whenever a customer would ask me questions and I could make informed recommendations for them, but other people in the store started asking me when they were having trouble recommending a, a product to a client. And I found myself not as the new guy anymore, but rather somebody who people went to to ask questions and help them solve issues for the customer. And when I got to that point, I realized that I had achieved some level of success. Um, I was at the point where I was really informed, I felt comfortable and confident helping people, and I was able to help my coworkers and share knowledge with them that would ultimately improve them and help get them to the level that I had achieved. You know, but beyond that, what I realized was there was always more learning to be done, 
there's so much that goes into the human body and supplementation that I was happy with the progress I made, but I realized it was important for me to keep learning. So past that, I continue to learn, I continue to do research, and what I found is that I ended up being one of the top salespeople in, in, our, in our district when it came to selling vitamins and certain proteins that we had contests on. And I would attribute that to the fact that I spent a lot of time early on reading, learning, asking questions, and being focused about becoming better at my job. But I think that's how I, I define success for me in that job. I was confident, I was able to help others, and I started to achieve recognition on being one of the top salespeople, and all that happened because of my understanding of supplements in general. So that's how you could go about answering this. I started off with a story and difficulty. Um, I talked about what I could do to improve. I talked about reaching that moment where I was able to communicate things to people and I was confident. Then I talked about raising others up alongside, with, uh, alongside me and helping them with some of the issues I encountered when I was new. I moved on from that by talking about how it was important to continue learning and I was cognizant of that and was intentional about that and ultimately receive rewards um, or recognition from selling uh, you know, vitamins and from proteins and stuff like that. And I think that is a good way to answer this question. This question is really complicated, but it's super complicated if you're not prepared for it. However, if you do take the time and have an example ready and can speak to some of your wins, it becomes a lot easier. Now this video is done, but I would suggest you watch this video right here. This video talks about everything you're going to need to know in the phase two interview with Apple. If you've gotten to the phase two interview, it means you were this close to getting an offer, but you have to be able to nail this. By watching this video right here, you are gonna be able to crush this critical interview step.